Hey, good day everybody. Welcome to far northeast Albuquerque. It's a breezy, cool autumn day. And man, I feel so much different this morning than I did yesterday morning getting up. I'd been kind of morose for the last two weeks or so, thinking that I didn't really have too many great ideas for typewriter video series episodes. I just didn't feel inspired or I didn't feel like there was too much new to say. Uh, it was kind of getting to me and feeling kind of down. But yesterday I went out and I created episode 200 of the typewriter series and uh, that made me feel so much better just reviewing where we've been with this channel. And it's kind of interesting, you don't really think you've made too much progress until you kind of stop turn around and look back at your footprints in the sand, so to speak, and see where you've actually been. Yeah, it's been quite an interesting series for all of us, I think. But I appreciate especially you guys for sticking in and in, in watching this with me and enjoying this series. So I got home yesterday from the park shooting the clips for episode 200, and waiting for me was a box. And in that box were things that totally transformed my attitude. So as you might know, roughly about maybe three weeks or a month ago, my favorite thermal typewriter in my collection, the Brother EP43, uh, broke. Something happened to the gear train that drives the printhead mechanism back and forth and pretty much rendered that typewriter parts machine. And I had shared that on this channel and Interestingly enough, one of my viewers, Gregory Short, had an EP43 that he wasn't getting along with and decided he would give it to me. And that was what was in the package yesterday. But there was a lot more besides. Well, I came home today and this box was waiting for me. Da, 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 da. This is the point where you don't want to cut yourself, especially on camera. Cutting yourself on camera is not very good. Plenty of bubble wrap. Ah, here we go. And Gregory writes, Dear Joe, I couldn't help but feel your pain at the loss of your favorite thermal Hyper. As I mentioned, I've never quite took a liking to this EP43. It's not as intuitive as the type stars. The manual is essential, as, and as you can see, setting the margins is one of my challenges. So it is with my wife's blessing that I send you this typer to you, but I didn't want it to be lonely, so I've included some surprises. All fodder for at least a few videos, I hope. Yes, I hope so too. I have enjoyed your videos for a long time now, long before I ever left my first comment. You've literally provided hours upon hours of entertainment for me. Sincerely, Gregory Short. Wow. And yes, it's typed on the EP43. Ah. Nicely wrapped. This is a textbook case of how to properly bubble wrap a thermal typewriter. Oh yes. Wow, that's nice. Oh yes. And it has, yes, a print cartridge. How cool is that? Wow. Thank you very much, Gregory. It looks to be in outstanding shape. I only recently discovered through other people's knowledge that there were other brands of thermal typewriters, namely also Casio and Sharp. And it really surprised me what was in that box. Yes, there is more in the box. Oh my goodness. What a surprise. I don't know what this is. I know that Gregory had emailed me and told me he was sending me an EP43, but this is certainly a surprise. It looks to me to be another thermal typewriter. Just guessing. Ah, yes. 
Face Sharp PA1050. Wow. And a removable keyboard cover and a nice style keyboard. Also looks to be perhaps the manual. Yes, the manual to the Sharp. And a selection of Sharp ribbon cassettes, label on brand, thermal paper for portable electronic typewriters and computers. And what else is in the box? It says Casio, Casio writer. Oh my goodness. like some paper and the manual and oh cool a little cassette tape cartridge AC adapters are always very important and look at this machine oh my goodness yes look at the little curved corner to those ribbon cartridges this looks like in really good shape, my goodness. Boy, it's going to be really a lot of fun getting the EP43 back working, the new one, and exploring this Casio and the Sharp typewriter. And I have to really thank Gregory so much for these gifts, and we're definitely going to be covering all three of these here in the near future. So I'm going to be covering each of these typewriters in a separate video in the future and then I'll be making at least one comparison video that kind of sums up all five of these machines how they rank one to the other in terms of feature set and convenience of use and all that but let's take a look at this new new to me EP 43 I've already covered the EP 43 in uh, previous videos of course and this appears to be identical but uh, it does have the battery cover missing right so we're going to take my old uh, currently broken EP 43 and oh by the way my EP 43 also has the cover to it so we can use the cover off of my old one but uh, battery compartment lid, right, and the C-cell batteries. Well, let's see, I have the cartridge installed, so let's try threading the non-thermal side of the paper in. So I should be able to go to density is dense, Yes, nice. The EP43 with the rig regular ribbon that prints on normal paper. Now, what we'll do is we will pop the ribbon cassette out, and now we will thread the paper back in on the thermal side face forward. There it is. Thermal typing with the new EP43, it works. It's nice to have the EP43 back working condition. I'm gonna to have to clean this up a little bit, of course. But uh, hey, it's exciting to have this one, but wait, there's two more. I have the Sharp and the Casio machine to work on, and those will be another day. But wait, just as I was finishing this video of the EP43 unboxing and getting it working, my wife comes in and brings me not only a cup of hot English style tea, this is a sopa pia. This is a like fry bread. This is a New Mexico delicacy. It's so it's it's like a, a pocket of fried bread. It's full of air and you fill it up with honey. You put honey in it. Mm. And these are often served in New Mexican restaurants. The sopapilla and the honey helps to calm one's palate after you've been eating some scorching hot New Mexico chilies. And so uh, yesterday afternoon and evening, I started cleaning up all three of these new thermal typewriters. Um, 
I got the Casio Rider and the EP43 cleaned up and in good operating order and had a chance to work with both. Now, of course, the newer EP43 is essentially the same as my older one, except there's one little feature that the newer one has that my older one didn't. And I think the keyboard on the newer EP43 feels better than my older one. It's just a better keyboard. I can type much faster. That said, though, once I got the hang of the differences uh, with the Casio writer over the EP43, I started to really like the Casio writer. In fact, I came to the conclusion that if it weren't for, let's say, one, perhaps two issues with the Casio writer, it would be probably the best of all of the thermal typewriters in my collection. But we'll save those issues for another day. The other big surprise in this package from Gregory was not typewriter related, but it was abacus related. Ah, wow. Ideal School Supply Company, Chicago, Illinois, printed in USA, the modern computing abacus. Oh, wow. Copyright 1954, the Ideal School Supply Company. If you're a student of the abacus, you generally think of Japan, Taiwan, China as being the hotbed of interest in the abacus. But here was a booklet teaching about the abacus in America in the educational system. It was an educational company that published this booklet. So I'm going to be doing a whole other video or two about the, this booklet and what it teaches, the techniques it teaches. So if you're an abacus aficionado, look forward to that. And when I got home yesterday afternoon, I didn't find just this box of wonderful goodies, but in the mailbox was a package from, yes, JJ Short. It was the platen to the torpedo typewriter. So yes, I'll be ready here shortly to start putting the torpedo back together, cleaning it, servicing it, getting it all fixed up, and I'll be recording that on a video and documenting that for you guys also. So look forward to the torpedo video coming up too. Well, finally, I wanted to just thank again Gregory Short for his generosity. And someone giving it to me as a gift means a lot more to me, and I really appreciate that. And uh, I hope you enjoy the upcoming content on this channel. And all of you guys, thank you for your support. And moving onward, you guys stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.